Hello everyone, welcome back to Webdev Mentor's YouTube channel and we are watching the Learning Bootstrap series. In this video, we're going to see about adding rows, columns and containers to our website. So before getting into it, let me do some cleaning up work from our website so that it looks good and also has something meaningful in it. So I'm going to add the Webdev Mentor's heading for it and I'm going to change this text with the description of Webdev Mentor's. I've just taken it from the Webdev Mentors Facebook page. This is a Facebook page and you can follow us in there itself so that you can uh, uh, get notified about the changes, tips and uh, tricks that we uh, share with the people on our Facebook page and also get to know about the YouTube videos that we upload. And, and we change the text and I don't want this uh, needs to be big like this just going to reduce its size to 200 and that's going to be like this and uh, this makes it awkward so I'm going to add a class with no margin in here we have already seen that how to create a class in the CSS file style.css you created this class no margin with margin 0 so we're going to just remove the margins for the actually the title tag so this makes it good and now let's get to the rows columns and container part of bootstrap I'm gonna add some random text to my HTML I'm going to cover it with the tags of para I'm gonna just uh, copy paste it for a couple more times so that uh, I can have some content in my website to work with so we have this text uh, you have seen it the paragraph added is added to the website in such a way that it extends from the left end of the website to the right end of the website and uh, you can see all these three paragraphs are taking up separate spaces and also extending from the left end of the website to the right end of the website and first of all I don't want this content or any content in my website to be from the left end to the right end in my desktop or large screen size or medium screen size so in order to avoid that so in order to avoid that I'm going to introduce a division with a class container which we have already seen to make sure it is not extending from the left end to the right end of the screen so let's see what the container class actually does to the content of the screen so it has actually introduced some gap in the left side and also on the right side of the content so now my content is looking more good because it has been centered and also presented in such a way that it is in the middle of the screen and not at the edge of the screens so now this actually created a platform for me to add columns I don't want each paragraph to take up the entire space in my website so I'm going to use columns in bootstrap to make it look in three different blocks of text so how to do that let's see we're gonna add divisions with class columns of required size to make it as three different blocks of text so I'm gonna introduce the column MD4 the reason why I'm giving 4 as the value for the medium column is that I'm going to use three columns so if you remember in our first and the grid system video we have talked about that bootstrap uses a tall column space structure so which means that if you are which means that in your website you have to make sure that the content should extend and will extend only to the space of 12 columns so now when I add up these three column sizes 4 plus 4 plus 4 it gives 12 so now let's see how it looks wow that's great so this is how we begin actually we have added three forms of text which look bad at the beginning by just adding it as a paragraph and now after we have added the container class it got centered made it to be presented in better way to read now we have added column class to our text or paragraphs each showing up as a three different blocks in the same row now let's get on to the row what if I have another column with 
a set of text random text and I have this three 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 which finally marks up 12 as the value so I have four columns that's good but what if I keep it as four itself that's good just go down automatically that actually makes it more responsive when you reduce the size of the website so it's going to go and when it gets to the snapping point of small devices just going to be a four but for some reasons I want the small devices to show two columns only so what I'm going to do sorry com it's not the values I'm just going to add this so six means I cannot have more than two columns so I'm going to give so this is how various different sizes of the columns work so when you get onto the snapping point of small devices you would be having two columns per row so that gives it but now I'm going back to the three okay I don't want the size to be four and now but I don't want this four columns in a single row I want only three columns in a single row so for that reason we're going to add a container sorry a division of class row and I'm going to put all those columns that I needed in this row within this row division now even though the size of each column is three and it can take up four different blocks in a single row because of the reason I have introduced the row division I'm going to have only three and the next column will go down automatically so we can add as many number of columns till it takes up 12 column spaces and if we want only a specific number of columns inside a row all we have to do is that define or put those columns inside a row division or row whatever you call it as and that will make it to visible and that will make it to be available only on that row and any other content of the website will be displayed after that row so it will not come inside the row and for some reasons when you reduce this text all we have to do is that we can see that so 12 this actually adds up 12 and the next is coming down in here because of the reason that it is small size we are having two columns as we have mentioned that it has to take six column size and six here so it adds up to form 12 column spaces and now the next six is here the third column and because of the row ends in here the fourth column will be sent down again so you have to keep in mind when you design a website for multiple devices and when you use those columns specific for each device is like small extra small medium or large you also have to make sure that you test it for different device sizes all you have to do is to reduce the size of the browser and if you're using Chrome you can use the developer console to keep in watch the size of the screen by just reducing the size and you can see that the size of the screen is available at the top right corner so now I'm entering the extra small size and all we have is that only one column per row now you can see that there is an indent in here because of the reason that this is going to have the entire row covered with three columns and this row is totally different so if we add another row in here for this column lonely column of course would be seeing that it comes back to the snapping point of the row in this video we have seen that how to add columns rows and containers what they do and what are the different sizes of the columns and of course I have uh, left out the extra small size so if you want more than one column to be displayed on the extra small size like this is the snapping point for extra small and I want two columns to be in here so all I have to do is that I'm just going to change the small into X's so this makes it look like this 
so I don't actually recommend using extra small with uh, multiple columns because it's always better to have only one column for extra small and have two columns for SM or more than two columns like three columns for small devices and for desktop try to use the entire 12 column space just don't leave any gap and that's the best way you can do it I don't want this gap as well so I'm just gonna send it back in and that's it so this is how you use the columns and rows and containers in a website and uh, we will be seeing how to add some styles to the columns and uh, various other stuffs in the upcoming videos and uh, it will be very useful for you if you actually work on it just try to implement these columns and rows and containers in your website try to actually experiment with it you can actually find them in the grid system of the documentation section there's various other stuffs like from 1 to 12 you have all the numbers for the column sizes and uh, various examples has been given try it out just copy these codes and use it in your website try it out this offset part I'll be explaining to you in the next video and that is the actual part where you'd be having the idea of how to center a column in your website without using any kind of other classes in the CSS that's the end of this video thank you for watching this video and if you have any kind of suggestions comments feedbacks or issues that you're facing you can use the comment section of this video or or you can use our Facebook page or Twitter handle in order to ask those questions or give us the comments or suggestions. Of course, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned for the next video and learn bootstrap. Thank you.